Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, November 27, Jordan Love No. 10 of the Green Bay Packers throws a pass during the fourth quarter against the Philadelphia Eagles at Lincoln Financial Field on November 27, 2022 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Photo by Mitchell F slash getting images the Green Bay Packers offense put up 30 points for only the second time this season and did so against a very good defense. Unfortunately, the Packers defense couldn't get a stop or come close to slowing the Eagles run game. Now at 4-8, if there was some hope of the Packers making a playoff push, those are likely all but gone. As I do after every Packers game. Here are my instant takeaways from their performance. I imagine all of us have been wondering if the Packers would transition to Jordan Love at any point this season once they are eliminated from playoff contention. Aaron Rodgers had been playing through a thumb injury, but his latest injury may not give Green Bay much of a choice. It was a small sample size, but Love looked confident, he was letting it rip, went through his progressions, extended plays, and had a few impressive tosses. An encouraging performance. Granted, the Eagles offense makes a lot of defenses look bad, but my goodness, the Packers looked completely unprepared. Did they know that the Eagles are a run-heavy team? Green Bay had no answers for Miles Sanders and Jalen Hurts. Sanders had massive running lanes between the tackles, while the edge rushers continued to set poor edges, which Hurts took advantage of. Key Walker was used as a spy at times, but it either wasn't enough, or he was ineffective at it. On top of that, it's not as if Green Bay slowed the passing game, either. The Packers' cornerbacks, especially Rasul Douglas, and the safeties had rough performances as well. More missed tackles by Green Bay. Like, a lot of missed tackles. Third downs on both sides of the ball were awful. The offense couldn't convert any, while the defense did well at creating several third and long situations, but it didn't much matter as they couldn't get off the field. Joe Barry wasn't good, but neither were the players. Darnell Savage left early with a foot injury, but before that, he was not. In the Packers' nickel formation, it was Rudy Ford and Adrian Amos deep, with Case Shaw and Nixon in the slot. The Packers only have Savage and Char Carpenter under contract in 2023. But you can pencil in Ford after he made another play with a forced fumble, 